Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY Investing. For today's video, I have some of my favorite charts to share with you guys that are going to show the direction of the market between the total market cap of both Bitcoin and the altcoins. And then we're also going to be taking a look at the dominance to share whether we're about to see a big rise inside of the altcoins price or whether Bitcoin is about to steal the show once again. We've had a sell off over the last 24 hours and a lot of people are freaking out. So today I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and perspectives on the total market so we can know exactly what to expect with price moving forward. If you guys are new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to the channel for more updates. Always remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one for Friday for you here. And make sure you guys join the Discord server of over 20,000 members and growing. Links are provided for you in the description to go ahead and sign up. On top of all of that, if you're a new guy getting into these markets and you want an extra study guide, I have a free ebook that's also linked in the description. And if this is really something that you guys want to learn how to do, be profitable in the markets, I know that this ebook is going to help you out a lot because I put all of my favorite information that helped me to be profitable inside of these markets. It's free. It's not going to cost you anything. Go ahead and check that out. And with all that being said, guys, Guys, let's jump right into this amazing video today. Alrighty guys, so here we are today. I wanted to start off by talking about the crypto total market cap and I wanted to cover the total market cap of both all of crypto as well as excluding Bitcoin or just the total altcoin market cap so that we could fully understand exactly what everything else is doing because in my opinion when you watch Ethereum and when you watch Bitcoin you get a clear picture one way. But when you watch the total market caps of both the altcoins and Bitcoin, you get an even deeper perspective that I think is a little bit easier to follow along with. And so let's start off today by talking about the crypto total market cap. Um, and let's just see what we can talk about today as far as the analyzing some of these shorter time frame levels. Because in my opinion, the chart looks a little bit better. And what we're seeing currently is really just a retest of our previous resistance here. So this was our resistance at about 1.53 trillion. We ended up breaking above this. We did manage to break above this previous high for a short period of time. We got some short-term deviation, but we couldn't hold support above this. So this is showing to be pretty strong distribution. There's a lot of resistance inside of this area, and we should continue to pay attention towards that area uh, because obviously if price rejected from it two different times, we could very easily see it happen again. Now, I will say that as far as indicators go, the OBV is still on support, so that's pretty solid. Um, we have had a little bit of a pullback here, but obviously that's what's to expect in any sort of price pullback. Now, with the RSI, we're actually coming back down to some pretty low levels on the RSI. We can see the last time we were at this level, we produced a bounce here, and we can see that throughout the history, normally, whenever price comes down and hits these levels, it produces some type of bounce on the opposite end. And so we are approaching historic levels when it comes to bouncing on the RSI. We are perfectly on support of the previous resistance here. And so there are some reasons to be bullish here. Unless we lose this level, that we should continue to expect to see upside here. Um, but if we do lose this level, then I would be expecting to see a deeper pullback for sure. And at that point, you know, things are going to get kind of bloody. And I think a lot of people would freak out if that was the case. Because if we lose this level and this level actually becomes resistance, then realistically, the next support level is going to be this previous high here. And that's going to take us all the way back down to about 1.3 trillion, which if we scroll back, you know, we're still, we'll, we're still pretty high above that previous all time high. But this would be a really strong shakeout that in my opinion, I'm leaning to, against this scenario happening. But, you know, we're going to watch it and see really what happens as support here because we're at that level where we need to pay attention for it. Now let's actually dive into the Bitcoin dominance. And I just wanted to share with you guys a chart that I've already drawn here. So it's just really easy to kind of go over and explain. Now we've been watching this Bitcoin dominance chart for a long time because the Bitcoin dominance arguably is one of the most important charts we could watch for. And if you understand how to use the Bitcoin dominance, you're going to be actually be able to time altcoins and even time Bitcoin positions a lot better. <clears throat> 
So what I wanted to share with you guys today is really just touch up on some of our older analysis that we've had over the last few months. Now, first ones first, this is really our historic trend line for this Bitcoin dominance. This started back at the beginning of the bear market, 2018, and Bitcoin dominance just rose and it went all the way up until about June of 2020 this year, which was the summer of DeFi. And this is when we actually sold through this trend line, right? And we had this big DeFi summer. Everything was really profitable throughout here. And we actually ended up getting this relief bounce. But the big important thing to understand here is we did break this long-term trend line, right? And so because we were already in a bearish trend, as indicated by this, you know, this was already in a pretty strong bearish trend. And because we broke through our original trend that we've just been building, this is once again showing a lower high inside of a, a ranging bear market. And so what we can see right here, this move that we saw, a lot of people were pinpointing that this was bullish because it was a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Elliott Wave impulse. And they said, well, if it's a 5 wave, then this corrective move is going to take us into new highs. And while I do understand that perspective, I personally see this as being a retest of the previous trend line, right? This was the supportive trend line. And let me take this off of a log scale. This was the supportive trend line. We came up and then we tagged this as resistance and then we sold off again. Now, watching this chart, it looks pretty it looks pretty identical to what we saw right here. Same type of impulsing markets. Wave 1, wave 3, wave 5, right? And this looks pretty much like the same type of move. 1 2 3 4 5. So we have the same type of move after we've sold through. We have the trend line, we get the impulse, and then we break the trend line, and we get another impulse, right? So this is kind of like a little echo fractal of this original one here. And so I'm wondering if we're going to see the same type of reaction again, except the only difference is maybe if we do get a little bit of relief here inside of the Bitcoin dominance, you know, maybe we bounce back up, tag this trend line one more time before then falling all the way back down in here. But either way, we could also just kind of sell off from here. Now, the way that the chart looks, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a little bit of relief here. This type of action, is what reminds me of stitching, where a market will sit there and consolidate in really tight spaces. It'll range for long periods of time, and then it'll make a drastic move one way or another. Now, in this case, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this get a bounce up to about 67%, 66, 67% right around that range before ultimately coming back down. Either way, guys, whether we fall right here or whether we get a relief bounce inside of the Bitcoin dominance, both of these scenarios both of these scenarios are showing that we're going to be falling to about 50% dominance next. And guys, this was some of the the first DeFi pumps that we saw. This was Aave, this was some of those coins where we saw really take off. This was the DeFi summer big crazy move, and then this is going to be our biggest alt season in my opinion. We're, the next move that comes here, which personally, guys, if we get a bounce in Bitcoin dominance, that's a better opportunity to buy altcoins before this move that comes. If we end up falling right here, we've already got our altcoins and we make money either way. But in this case, if the dominance close, went all the way up to 67%, that's just a bigger, more profitable drop that we're going to be able to experience when we do end up coming to 50% down here. And so when this happens, guys, 50%, I would imagine we'd get some type of a pullback. Um, before then, you know, finishing out maybe one more drop in dominance. And he, guys, who knows how deep this can go? The thing about this chart is it can only go up to, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to go over t uh, 10%. Um, I think it's going to end up consolidating between 20 and 10%. Bitcoin dominance would lose uh, momentum somewhere around 10%. I don't think that it would go below that. And that's just kind of what I'm thinking here. But this alt season we're going to see this year is going to be big. It's going to be powerful. And this is the reason why. We're losing all of our trending supports. Trending supports are becoming trending resistance. And now we're about to start seeing the, some of the biggest drops inside of this move. Now I wanted to branch over and talk about the crypto total market cap, and this is the altcoin total market cap, right? So in this chart, I wanted to share with you guys some of what I noticed. Now, I actually made this update inside of my VIP group. We were right about here, and I said that there was actually becoming a lot of weakness inside of the RSI. I said bearish resistance. I said bearish divergence inside of the RSI. We're making higher highs in price, but higher but lower lows on the RSI momentum. And then we ended up getting that top and selling off. And so we have deviated. We have made a short-term top here. 
Now, even on the bigger time frames, if we zoom this out a little bit, you're going to see that we've had bearish divergence for a long period of time. Now, the OBV is a little different. It's been trending up, which is encouraging for continuation. Um, and now that the RSI is actually getting squoze lower and lower, you know, it's looking a little bit better for the bulls to step in. The momentum is kind of dying out. But on the bigger time frames, if we jump it up to about the daily time frame, we can see quite a bit of bearish divergence here. There's bearish divergence on the uh, OVV as well. So these are important things to watch out for. On the bigger time frames, we have more uh, weakness inside of the bulls. Bearish looking divergence on all of the different uh, indicators here between the OBV and the RSI. And so these are important things to understand and watch out for when it comes to watching what comes next with price. Now, in my opinion, the altcoins have held support better than Bitcoin. And so here we are holding support in between this range. If we lose this range and we became and we become resistance at about 580 bill, then at that point, I would expect a lower low all the way back down to about 420 billion. Now, if we hold support above this range, I would expect that we're going to break above this resistance at some point. Now, keep in mind, we could consolidate here before breaking out a little while. It doesn't have to always just go straight up or down. Um, but, <clears throat> but regardless, guys, we are above the all-time highs. That's the most important thing to understand. We are above the all-time highs. If we lose this and we fall back down to about 420, that's going to be another retest of that all-time high, which would be just another great buying opportunity. If we don't, expect to just get a big, big rise in price coming next. Now, lastly, I actually want to talk to you guys about the altcoin dominance. Now, this is the altcoin dominance, but this is really the Bitcoin dominance chart inverted. I don't know actually how to find the ticker for this, uh, for the altcoin dominance on TradingView. So if you guys actually know, comment that down below so I can understand that. But I want to talk to you guys about this chart today because we talked about this chart specifically, right? The Bitcoin dominance. And so all this chart is is this chart inverted. So that's the same thing. Now, I, the reason I showed you guys this chart is because this chart is pretty much saying the exact same thing as the altcoin dominance chart. And what I wanted to share with you guys here is the fact that when we look at this chart between this and the altcoin dominance and we compare the Bitcoin dominance, what we can see is we've had this long-term descending resistance, right? We broke out of that here and then we've sold all the way back down and retested it. So remember when I was talking to you guys about how this little impulse here came back and retested the previous bearish trend. It looks a lot better when you view this from a bullish perspective, because in my opinion, I'm a long-term bull. So I like to look at charts as being bullish. And so when I take this chart and invert it, you get a little bit of a different perspective here. And I want to keep you guys in touch with this and understand that this is something you guys can do as well. Just keep in mind that you can invert charts and you can look at them in a different perspective. Maybe some of you guys are naturally more bearish. Maybe some of you guys are more naturally bullish. You can actually pinpoint the charts to fit your bias without actually jeopardizing um, your accuracy inside of your trading. In my opinion, it actually helps me a lot. And what we can see here is this looks really bullish. This is a chart that I would buy. We broke from the descending resistance. We retested the previous descending resistance as support. And now we've got continuation. And so when I looked at the, bit in, uh, the Bitcoin dominance and I pinpointed the fact that it could fall to 67% or in this case, rise up to 67%. Um, this is kind of what I was watching for, but when you actually scan over here and you take a look at this chart inverted, this looks like a market that's going to break bullish, which in this case means that the Bitcoin dominance is just going to fall off a cliff and altcoins are going to go crazy. Cause remember guys, this chart is the altcoin dominance, but it's really the Bitcoin dominance chart inverted. And so when I look at this chart, this looks like something prime for continuation. This looks like something that's going to break up and end up coming all the way up to this 50% level, right? And so where we're at right now is a very interesting point. We're either at the best buying opportunity that exists, or we might see a little bit of a pullback inside of the altcoin dominance before we get that move. But regardless, guys, the next move that in my opinion is going to be coming very soon is going to be very big. And it's probably going to be the biggest alt season that we've seen up to this point. It's going to be the most profitable, the most volume, the most money from both institutions as well as retail and mainly retail. That's the thing to understand here. Altcoins are pumping because of retail. Smart money buys Bitcoin. The institutions buy Bitcoin. The corporations buy Bitcoin, right? And then after that point, 
the retail comes in and they've said, oh, wow, Bitcoin's at 50K. That's too expensive for me. Oh, Dogecoin, man, this thing's only worth less than a penny. I'm going to buy this. And they buy it, right? And that's the psychology of retail investors. And so the next move that's coming for the altcoins is going to be the biggest, which is why we just need to prepare for this. I just wanted to give you guys this video to help you understand, conceptualize every single thing inside of my trading plan so that we can understand exactly what is going to happen with the direction of the markets, right? We covered a lot of stuff. A little bit more of a technical video today, but we're holding our levels as long as we can continue to hold support. You know, regardless, this is pinpointing to a big alt season that's coming. Um, whether we come down and correct for a lower low and retest the all time high, I'm leaning much more that we're going to hold support and go up again because I'm a natural bull. I think it's a little bit more likely. And when we actually look over at the Bitcoin dominance chart inverted or the altcoin dominance, we can see that this chart looks primed for continuation. And so I'm just wanted to give you guys this analysis sum up my thoughts, explain what you guys can maybe get over and understand a little bit what you guys can get from this, take away from this, apply to your trading plans. Now that we've actually got to the end of the video, I wanted to take a minute to explain how you guys can sign up for my video course and signals inside of my group. Now, first group is the video course, which is going to be 20 educational videos that teach you guys how to read charts. It talks about some of the basics for technical analysis, and it goes into some of the harder stuff as well, some of the more advanced stuff. So you guys can just understand how I actually trade in these markets and what I look for with the charts. Now, on top of all of that, I have the signals. And in the signals, you're going to get access to two of my portfolios, my long-term and my short-term. You guys are also going to be getting access to every other trade that I take over the cycle. And so if you guys want to come in here, make gains, accumulate these altcoins that we've been nailing all the time, big gains all the time, guys. Now we're at the point of the cycle where it's becoming really easy to actually find these types of big winners. Now that we're at this point, you guys are really going to want to check that out. Links are going to be provided for you in the description. You guys can sign up today and you guys can purchase them together or separate. If you can only pick one, I always recommend going with the signals first because that's going to be the way for you guys to step in and trade my trading plan. So anyways, guys, with all that being said, if you don't want to actually sign up for my video course and signals, I do have a free ebook that's also linked in the description as well. This is going to help you guys out a lot to understand some of the more basic principles, but in my opinion, some of the most important fundamental principles of trading that help me to become the most profitable. Anyways, links are going to be provided for you in the description. Go ahead and check that out, guys. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next video. As always, peace out.